Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Peep game. All right. So Shaquille O'Neal um, hasn't released a statement regarding his movie theater having a screening for the film that got Kyrie Irving in trouble. Now, a lot of people have came on my channel in defense of Shaquille O'Neal saying, hey, well, maybe Shaquille O'Neal didn't know and all this kind of stuff. And he has so many businesses, he can't keep a tra keep track of what's going on. And I got to tell you that is full blown cap. Shaquille O'Neal, I believe eventually it's going to come out that he's seen that movie and that not only did he see that movie, he liked that movie. But at the end of the day, he profited off that mo movie. But here's the problem that I have with Shaquille O'Neal which a lot of people have with Shaquille O'Neal. He is looking like a hypocrite and he's coming across as a coward. It's now Tuesday and we've yet to hear from Shaquille O'Neal. And then once again, um, you haven't seen the media uh, question Shaq or go in on Shaq. It just goes to show you that they once again are agenda driven. And this is about a witch hunt that they have towards Kyrie Irving, which I'm afraid to talk about Kyrie Irving. And basically break down when I think the real feud with him and LeBron started. So I will talk about that further. But let me explain something to you guys. Um, whenever you have an independent film, and what I mean by independent film, an independent film is where you get financing from somewhere else. Either the makers of the film uh, finance the film or they take out a couple of loans or whatever the case may be or get grants. And they put the film out their self and finance the film without going through a major studio. And sometimes what happened is you have these film festivals that you can enter these films in. And if it get enough buzz, sometimes a major studio will pick the film up and, and distribute the film. So they have film festivals like Cannes film festival sundance and then they have the indie film festival they have quite a few now before you can enter these films and these festivals for screenings and people to view the film well the people in charge they have to look at the film they have to see what the film is all about they have to view the film they're not just going to let you put anything in there. They screen the film and then if they like it, they say, hey, you can enter this. Uh, you can put this film, make it available for viewing, um, you know, basically for the festival. So with that being said, those people had to have told Shaquille O'Neal about the film. They looked at the film. They viewed, viewed the film. They screened the film and they had to get a okay from the higher ups. And Shaquille O'Neal is one of the owners. So they had to have told Shaquille O'Neal what the film was about. And Shaquille O'Neal would have had to have signed off on this film. But see, I'm telling you how how this works. This is for the people that like to come on people's channel trying to act like they know what they talked about. I know what the hell I'm talking about. So don't come on here trying to challenge my knowledge. Don't come on here talking about, well, maybe he has so many businesses to where he didn't know. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter how many businesses you have. You are always supposed to keep track, especially when your name is attached to a uh, a movie theater as being um, part of the ownership group. That's real. Do you, you think Mark Davis don't know what's going on in the Raiders organization? He because he, he not he may not be on the field calling plays, but he knows what's going on. So that's not pretend and play these games like Shaquille O'Neal didn't know. I know y'all trying to give him a way out, but Shaquille O'Neal had to signed off on that that film, and he had to know the the contents of that film. So you could stop it with that. Why you think Shaquille O'Neal ain't said nothing? Because he trying to find a way out of this. And based off the fact that he's not saying nothing and that this is being brought up, this goes to show you. Once again, this just goes to show you what type of dude Shaquille O'Neal is. And it just goes to show you the hypocrisy of Shaquille O'Neal in mainstream media. He he knew. There's no way he didn't know. But, you know, nice try, you guys.
you know, don't come on here trying to argue with me and don't sit up here telling me that I'm I'm wrong. You can say you disagree, but don't tell me I'm wrong and you're right because I will block your ass. You disrespecting, you know, for real. You are disrespecting my outlet and I will not allow that. But I'm right about this particular subject. That's how films work. When you submit it to be, you know, even for private screenings or just at one particular theater, they have to watch this film and see what is on this film. So I'm pretty sure that Shaquille O'Neal got a phone call or Shaquille O'Neal saw this movie. He just forgot. Keep in mind, this happened four years ago. So now he's trying to figure out, damn, how do I get out of this? Oh, I'm just not going to say nothing. Which makes it even worse, which further, to a certain degree, implicates him. So there you have it. Nice try. Anyway, this is your boy Town Biz. I'm out.